Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lead Nap Gaming. Today's episode is impromptu, unscripted, and important enough that I have decided to bump the video that was going to release today, and I'm doing so for ethical reasons. A lot of you are still shooting me emails asking for help, help with building your fleet, help with doing a CCU, all kinds of different stuff like that. And I want to encourage you to continue doing that because I really do enjoy helping you guys all out. I've been asked why I don't charge money for it, and the truth is, I enjoy helping you guys get everything out of Star Citizen that you want. One of the greatest things about Star Citizen has been that we have such a great community of players. It's an overall positive group of people that are not only optimistic looking forward to something that's going to be incredible, but that are also willing to help new players who show up week after week and guide them through the verse. You can go in and ask a question in general chat and you don't just get told, get good, right? Someone will tell you like, oh, this is what you have to do or go here to find that mission, right? People take each other under the wing and it's fantastic. And I want to encourage you all to continue to do that. Unfortunately, there is a toxic side and that toxic side, and I'm not talking about the backers that are salty or anything like that. I'm talking about the true to form scammers. People that are looking to rip you off, people that are looking to take your real world money and use Star Citizen as the vehicle to their personal gain. It's come to my attention that you can purchase Alpha UEC on eBay. Please do not purchase Alpha UEC on eBay. There's a bunch of reasons for this and we're going to go into them. But right out the gate, you need to understand that Alpha UEC is not UEC, which is the currency of Star Citizen. Alpha UEC is the currency we use in the Alpha build. UEC is the currency for Star Citizen, and you can purchase UEC from Cloud Imperium Gaming on the website. It's sold in 10,000 UEC chunks, and uh, yeah, it's still a really bad deal because if you do the math, you realize that you would save a lot of money if you just bought ships with that cash instead. The point though is, UEC that you purchase from Cloud Imperium persists into release. Alpha UEC is only around in the alpha, and it would go away in a database wipe. Now, there could be a wipe for 3.14. Even a 3.12.3 patch could wipe the database. You would lose the money, the alpha UEC that you just paid real money for would go away the Xenomorph events going on, and even that could cause CIG to turn around and wipe the database. The Alpha UEC you spent real money for would be gone. In fact, sellers of Alpha UEC are using exploits in the game code to generate this income, right? I mean, seriously, ask yourself the question, if someone's willing to sell you 30 million Alpha UEC for 30 bucks, I mean, either they're really undervaluing their time, or they have a way to exploit the game. They've found a way to take what is a bug in the game to generate billions of credits. Now, here's the thing you need to understand. Supporting them is encouraging CIG to do wipes. Why do I say that? Well, because the billions of Alpha UEC that are being flooded into the economy by people using exploits breaks the economy. And that will cause Cloud Imperium Gaming to wipe us more often. So if you're buying a UEC on platforms like eBay, you're encouraging CIG to wipe more often. Other reasons that you should really not do this. Probably one of the biggest ones is this. On eBay, virtual currency is required to be sold in a specific category. This is because that category has added rules and protections that protect you, the buyer. Buying virtual in-game currency may even be illegal in your country. I'm seeing listings for Alpha UEC on eBay that are categorized as selling you a physical new computer. Now, maybe these sellers are not aware of the special rules on eBay for virtual currency, or maybe they're intentionally trying to avoid the rules that are protecting you. Ships and other items on eBay are risky as well. Look, I'm seeing 890 jumps for 30 bucks, and here's the thing, you're not getting an 890 jump. They're gonna give you the 32 million credits to buy it in the game. Now, just like Alpha UEC, anything you buy in the verse, from water bottles to ships, 
can and will go away in a database wipe or even a game glitch. If you get the chop shop bug and have to do an account reset, you could lose your money and ships and everything you've ever bought. I'm also seeing that accounts are being sold. This violates Cloud Imperium Gaming's terms of service. If CAG determines you are on a sold account, they will revoke it even if you spent additional money on their platform with it. If the account was stolen and you purchased it, CIG will revoke the account and give it back to its rightful owner, and you will be left with nothing. Never mind that in some countries, again, you may be breaking the law by purchasing stolen goods. This isn't to say that the gray market's a whole lot better, but there is one level of added protection here, and that's that the gray market is specifically built to buy and sell ships for Star Citizen eBay doesn't know the difference between Alpha UEC and the differential that my truck uses. The moderators on the gray market do. Sellers on the gray market want to have verified sales. In fact, if you ever have a seller on the gray market offering to do the deal unverified or off of the market, they are a scam. You should report it. The gray market works very hard to rule out scammers and they're better equipped to do so when it comes to the specifics of items from Star Citizen. New players to the verse may not recognize the difference either between a ship sale and an Alpha UEC ship sale. The gray market won't allow you to sell the Alpha UEC to buy a ship in game like other e-commerce platforms do. The ships on the gray market will go into your hangar, they will be in your hangar after an account wipe, and they will be there the day the game launches. You can still get ripped off in the gray market, and there are legitimate sellers on eBay. I still advise not using the gray market because the spend doesn't count on your account, but there are good deals there, and if you accept the risks and the longer road to concierge, it is worth consideration. Please share this video out. Please help new players to the verse get the message that they might be ripped off by this. I'm not trying to say that everybody who's selling stuff on eBay particularly for Star Citizen, is a scammer or trying to rip people off. I'm sure there are plenty of people who are legitimately just trying to sell on a platform just like if they were using the gray market. All I'm trying to say is, please help new players understand all of the risks that I have just explained. If you liked this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and I will catch you all next time.